Hello, classmates! It's me, Maikin, and this time, pag-usapan naman natin kung paano isolve yung missing sides using trigonometric ratios at sokatowa. Before that, siguraduin mo muna na marunong ka nang mag-solve ng algebraic equations. Kung hindi pa, maglalagay ako ng video sa description box natin. Also, ang video na ito ay part 2 ng series of videos natin about trigonometric ratios. So kung hindi mo pa napapanood yung part 1, Nasa baba rin yung link. Okay? By the way, ang mag-subscribe ay makaka-line of nine sa card. At ang mag-skip naman ng ads ay majijingal sa kama habang natutulog. Oh no! <laughs> Ready ka na? Tara, perfectin natin yung quiz mo. Merong tatlong sides ang right triangle. Ang hypotenuse o katapat ng right angle. Ang opposite side na katapat ng reference angle at ang adjacent side na katabi ng reference angle. So, tinan natin itong triangle na ito. Ito ay katapat ng right angle. Therefore, this is our hypotenuse. Ito naman ay katapat ng reference angle. Therefore, this is our opposite side. At ito naman ay katabi ng ating reference angle. Therefore, this is our adjacent side. To solve for unknown sides using trigonometric ratios, we have to remember so ka towa. Ibig sabihin, yung so ay s equals o over h or sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. Ang ka naman ay c equals a over h or cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. At ang towa ay t equals o over a or tangent equals opposite over adjacent. Huwag kakalimutan to indicate our reference angle in the middle. Let us solve for x. In this triangle, 34 degrees is our reference angle. Ang x naman ang ating opposite side, at ang 12 centimeters ay ang ating hypotenuse. Since we have opposite and hypotenuse, Alin kaya sa sokatowa ang pwede nating gamitin? Remember, O, H, opposite, hypotenuse. Tama, so, ibig sabihin yan, sin theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. So, bring down natin yung sin, and then theta is equal to 34 degrees. Our opposite is X, and our hypotenuse is 12. Next, let us solve for x. To do that, let us multiply both sides by 12. Ayan, pwede na nating i-cancel tong 12. So, we now have 12 times sine 34 on our left side and x on the right side. We can now use your calculators. But take note, make sure that your calculator is set in degree mode. Otherwise, kahit tama pa yung input mo, mali ang kakalabasan yan. So, we will get 6.71 equals x. At huwag kakalimutan, centimeters ang unit of measurement. So, sulat natin centimeters. Therefore, x is 6.71 centimeters. Isa pa. Again, we have to solve for x. In this example, 48 degrees is our reference angle. Ang x naman ay ang ating adjacent side. At yung 25 inches ay hypotenuse. So, alin kaya sa sokatowa ang pwede nating gamitin? Remember, adjacent and hypotenuse. A and H. Yes, yung ka. So, ang ibig sabihin yan, cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So, bring down natin yung cos. Then, our theta is 48 degrees. Adjacent side is X. And hypotenuse is 25. To solve for x, let us multiply both sides by 25. Then cancel. And we will have 25 times cosine 48 on our left side and x on our right side. Again, make sure that your calculators are in degree mode. 
So by multiplying, we will get 16.73. At huwag kakalimutan, inches ang ating unit of measurement. So our final answer is 16.73 inches. Another example. This time, we have 26 degrees as our reference angle. 46 meters is our opposite side and X is our adjacent side. So ano kaya sa Sokatoa ang gagamitin natin? Tandaan, meron tayong opposite at adjacent. So O and A. Tama, Toa. Ibig sabihin, tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. So, bring down natin yung tangent at yung theta ay 26 degrees. Yung opposite naman natin, 46. And our adjacent side is x. In this case, pwede natin i-multiply yung both sides by x over tan 26. Pero, ang shortcut ko dyan, cross multiply ko lang. Therefore, x is equal to 46 over tan 26. Then again, we can just use our calculators. x equals 94.31. At wag kakalimutan, meters. Level up tayo. This time, we have to solve for x and y. So our reference angle is 50 degrees. Take note, hindi natin pwedeng pagsabayin sa isang equation ang x at y dahil dalawa yung variables. So, to solve for x, simulan natin with an opposite side and an adjacent side. So, total meron tayong opposite at adjacent. Ano kaya ang gagamitin natin? Tama, towa. So, that is tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. Then, tangent 50 degrees equals x over 11.5. Then again, to solve for x, let's just multiply both sides by 11.5. Then we can cancel. So we have 11.5 times tan 50 equals x. Calculator lang gagamitin, so we will get 13.71 as x. Then wag kakalimutan, Yung unit of measurement natin dito, blanco. So, we can just write units. Therefore, x is 13.71 units. So, paano naman yung y? Our reference angle is still 50 degrees. Pero this time, edi disregard na natin si x. Dahil we cannot use two variables in one equation. So, ang gagamitin natin ay 11.5 as our adjacent side and y as our hypotenuse. Since we have adjacent at hypotenuse, ang gagamitin natin ay ka, tama. Meaning, cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So, we have cosine 50 degrees equals 11.5 over y. And again, pag nasa denominator yung variable, we can use our pinagbabawal na technique o Cross multiplication. So therefore, y is equal to 17.89. At dahil walang unit of measurement na indicated, we can just write units. So y is 17.89 units. Try it! Pause this video and find the value of x. Pagtapos ka na, play mo ulit to check if your answer is correct. Our reference angle is 31 degrees. Yung x naman, opposite side. At yung 107, hypotenuse. So alin sa Sokatoa ang gagamitin natin? Remember, we have opposite and hypotenuse or O and H. Tama, yung so. Ibig sabihin, sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. So we have sine Theta, which is 31, opposite is x, and hypotenuse is 107. To solve for x, multiply natin yung magkabilang sides ng 107. 
Tapos pwede na nating i-cancel. So, meron tayong 107 times sine 31 on our left side and x on our right side. Pwede na natin gamitin yung calculator natin, pero dapat naka-degree mode. So, we have 55.11 equals x. At huwag kakalimutan yung unit of measurement, so centimeters. Therefore, x is 55.11 centimeters. Again, pause this video and find the value of x. Our reference angle is 63 degrees. Yung 2.17, yan naman yung adjacent side. At yung x, hypotenuse. So ano sa sukatawa ang ginamit mo? Dahil meron tayong adjacent at hypotenuse or A and H, tama ka kung ka ang ginamit mo. So ibig sabihin, cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse or cosine 63 degrees equals 2.17 over x. Dahil nasa denominator yung x, we can use our pinagbabawal na technique or cross multiplication. So we have x equals 2.17 over cosine 63. We can use our calculator and get x equals 4.78. Dahil walang unit of measurement na indicated, we can just write units. So x is 4.78 units. Nakuha ba? Kung ganun, ikaw ay certified na matindi. Nagets mo ba? Pwes, pwede ka nang pumunta dito sa part 3 ng ating video kung saan pag-uusapan naman natin kung paano isolve yung missing angles ng triangle. See you sa next video!